signals everywhere. Melting glaciers, spreading deserts, rising tides, warming planet. Driving into the future, we are changing our planet's climate. Our principal energy sources dump tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, creating an unintended blanket, insulating the Earth, upsetting a delicate balance. But how much has temperature risen? On average, about one degree centigrade in the last hundred years. Four or five degrees more and this warming trend could pass a point of no return. Our appetite for energy, voracious. But endless CO2 production is an express train to an irreparable global climate. In this extraordinary visualization, we can see temperatures rise as total CO2 increases over time. Clean, renewable energy goes a long way towards solving major climate challenges. We already understand the principles of harnessing wind and plants and the sun. We also know that the best first thing to do is make daily energy use lean and efficient. Conservation of existing resources of all types can dramatically stretch what's already available. But there's more. We can transform our carbon-based economy into a renewable, sustainable way of life. Here's what's coming. Think big, but start small. Cells. Cells build stems. Stems reach for the sun. Leaves make energy and store it. Around the world, billions of tons of leftover plants corn stalks, wood chips, shrubs, and grasses we don't eat, hold vast untapped fuel reserves. Weedy biomass is an old fuel. But here's the new energy twist. Cellulose. These stiff interlocking molecules are the tough stuff that make plants strong enough to resist hurricanes. They're also what make plants hard to break down transformed into the kinds of simple sugars found in high-energy alcohol fuels. These humble greens offer possibilities for ordinary vehicles too. Cooked with heat and pressure, enzymes and acids, cellulosic ethanol takes a few days to make. But research is firing on all cylinders to cook it faster and cheaper. And suddenly, you've got gasoline. Now we're getting somewhere. Say you're headed home. Buildings, including the places we live, use 40% of our total energy output. They also account for about half the nation's greenhouse gas output. That's why small improvements in efficiency can add up to huge improvements nationwide. Smart buildings make sense. Real homes sold in California today currently pay as little as $24 a month for utilities. All utilities. Using reflective window films, low wattage lights, computer controlled temperatures, and clever ways to use sunlight, some of these houses even sell power back to the grid. In the 21st century, information technology can finally keep up with real world day-to-day -day changes. Sensors tied to smart software can regulate buildings autonomously, setting air conditioning based on total occupancy and hot water needs based on the time of day. What's more, smart buildings mean better climate strategies for the entire planet. But the whole system still needs power. So for power generation, it's time for some new ideas. Every day, cities around the world soak up sunlight, pure energy. What if we could turn those urban facades into power plants? 
Imagine thin layers of solar cells cladding walls like clothes. Buildings would wear their own power sources. This is new tech. Thin film solar cells, cheaply produced with sprayers like inkjet printers, will soon spool off skeins of energy producing photovoltaics. But big power needs call for something bigger. Large-scale heliostats can produce hundreds of megawatts in a single installation, effectively lighting up a block of buildings. It's ironic, then, that the biggest action in photovoltaics may be in the realm of the ultra-small. Nanotechnology. Visible light is just a slice of the spectrum. Other wavelengths can generate power, too. Some, like infrared, are even more energetic than the light we see. Who says solar stops when the sun sets? Daytime solar power is so 20th century. Technologies like so-called quantum dots can capture energy from wider frequencies than ever before, and that's just a start. What about the endless gadgets we all seem to carry these days? Photovoltaics, woven right into our clothes, can gather power by simply being worn outside. Suddenly, the sun's promise of limitless power switches into high gear. That is, until you need to take it with you. Saving the sun for later, that's the job of batteries. New storage systems need to be at least five times better than what we have today, and they must survive repeated charging and discharging cycles with hardly a hiccup. Even the 400-pound batteries in your hybrid car won't get you more than about 12 miles without a recharge. In the energy future, new battery technology means fewer worries about cloudy days. No matter how it's made, power must be distributed and it must be ready the moment you need it. Power often originates someplace distant, snaking through endless miles of wires and transformers. You may not see the grid much, but it connects everything. A new smart grid fuses computer networks and renewable energy so just the right amount of clean power can meet demand at any given moment. A smart grid might tell your dishwasher to wait until 3 in the morning when power demands fall. To supercharge the smart grid, scientists are working on exotic semiconductors for conveying electricity across long distances, like water through smooth pipes. But communications is the grid's heart. A smart grid means power plants that know how to throttle down when demand is low and rev up when demand spikes. A smart grid makes it possible to redistribute resources intelligently, blending solar power from the sunny southwest with wind power from the Great Plains. Blowing wind, growing plants, shining sun. This is our energy future. As power demands continue to grow, we must develop and produce affordable new technologies to meet modern needs. Abundant, clean power means moving away from carbon consumption and towards new, climate-friendly solutions. Clearly, big questions remain. But we have some good ideas. As those ideas turn into solutions, engines change, pick up momentum, and surge ahead. This is the energy revolution.